So dear students, today we are going to start chapter the backers. Okay. In this chapter, basically there are three main characters. So write down the name of those three characters. The first character we have is Lashkov. Okay. Next character we have is of Sarji. And third character we have is of Oli. So write down about these three characters, Sarji, Lashkov and Oli. So basically what is given in this chapter? This chapter revolves around one of the background. Okay. And this chapter is about a drunkard beggar, a beggar who is a drunkard and his name is Lashkov. Okay. And there is one another character, Sarji, and basically he is an advocate. Okay. So that advocate gives work to that beggar in his house so that that beggar can earn money, he can feed himself. He can, you can say, spend his life in a nice way and he can stop that begging. Okay. Although he agreed, okay, he was agreed that he would be able to work in advocate's house, Sarji, but he internally he was not willing to work. Okay. And after that, there is one cook, her name is Olga. Olga is working in the house of Sarji. Okay, Olga also gave him some of the work. Okay, why so? Because she feels very much pity. She feels so sympathetic because of his miserable condition. Okay, and after that, another job was also provided to him. And he went for that job in lottery. So when uh, he was doing that job, so mean about after two years, Sarji gets a chance to meet that uh, Lashkov. He was now so happy to meet him because in within a span of two years, his life was completely changed. Okay. And because now he has got work, he was earning money, he was not begging at all. So when uh, Sarji came to know about Lashkov, that within two years, his life was completely changed. And now he's not a beggar at all. He's earning on his own. So whole of the credit that was given to, you can say, he thinks that uh, Lashko, that Sanchi was completely responsible for changing, for bringing transformation in his life. Okay, but the secret was revealed. What was the secret? He tells that it is only because of Olga's kindness, his her unconditional help. Because of that, he has completely changed because initially he was not willing to do any work. So whatever the work was given in their house, in the house of Sarji, this work was basically not done by Lashkov at all. This work was basically done by Olga secretly. So this is all about our story. <clears throat> in nutshell, I have given you, you can say, brief introduction of the story, but all the things you are going to read in today. And in this chapter, there are so many uh, there are so many beautiful scenes. You should enjoy. You should go into the depth. You should go into the beauty of the text. Some words are so difficult, but I will be telling you the meaning side by side. So, my dear children, you <coughs> kindly cooperate. Write down the meaning side by side. Only then you will enjoy it too. You'll be able to enjoy the text. So, today I'm not speaking so loud because I'm not keeping good health. And I don't want to miss or I don't want to be all this like because my teaching students should not suffer at all. So that's why I'm teaching you. Okay. So uh, kindly be proper attentive in class and listen to the explanation because this chapter it requires a lot of explanation. It requires to understand different different word meanings also that we'll be able to do it. Okay, so let's start. Uh, okay, uh, Jiren, you start reading. Yes, ma'am. Kind sir, have pity. Turn your attention to a poor hungry man. 
for three days i have not i have had nothing to eat i haven't i have i haven't five kopecks for a lodging i swear it for god for eight years i was a village school teacher and then i lost my place through intrigues i felt a victim i fell a victim of calamity and it's a year now since i have had nothing to do read further also <clears throat> the advocate sergi looked at the rat fawn colored overcoat of the suppliant at his dull sunken eyes at the red spot on either cheek and it seemed to him as if he had seen this man somewhere before i have now had an offer of a position in the province of kaluga the medicine went on but i haven't the money to get there help me kindly i am ashamed to ask but i am obliged to uh, to by the circumstances sergi's eye fell on the man uh, man's overshoes a shoes one of his which was high and other low and suddenly remembered something look here it seems to me i met you the day before yesterday in sadovia street he said but you told me then that you were a uh, you were a student who had been expelled and not a village school teacher do you remember no that can't be so mumbled the beggar Stop taken it. aback now on this page there are so many difficult words that is right on the meaning so you can be able to enjoy the text of the beauty in the first paragraph there is a word copex copex so bachche write down the meaning for copex that is basically a unit for money Okay, unit for money. After that, introduce introduce means arouse the curiosity. Arouse the curiosity. Write down the means. Okay. Then we have calling. It is mean untrue. statement okay then we have font it is color light gray brown color okay then supplement supplement we have Who makes me? Who makes me? Okay. Let's write down these meanings. Then we have another word that is the province. Province is used for region. Okay. So write down these meanings so that I can explain the text to you. another word which is given expelled expelled means removed so bachche write down all these meanings then try to understand the text okay so basically up to that we have come to know that there is a beggar the name of the beggar is lush cop okay so sarji when he meets a beggar okay and he feels so sympathetic for him okay and the name of the beggar is lashko okay and he <clears throat> that beggar describes about his condition okay because he say that sir please have pity on me okay you should pay some of the attention on a poor hungry man why so because for near about for last three days i have nothing to eat because his condition was so bad he was saying that i have nothing to eat and he was having only two packs four packs in unit for money okay and for a lodging okay and he really swore to go ahead it means he was taking you can say uh, solemnly he was taking an oath that he has not eaten anything for last 
three days. So he afterwards he told that for near about eight years he was working in a government. Uh, he was working in a village school, village school. He was basically a school teacher, but because of some individual, because of that, you can say. Okay, but because of some uh, reasons, okay, and you can say uh, there were some untrue statement. There was like condition that to uh, his his job was lost. Okay, he was not able to get that job again, and this is a year now. Now he has nothing to do. Okay, have you written the meanings? So here, the writer has written that uh, uh, Lashkov he was basically a beggar. He was asking to have pity on him because for last few days he has not eaten anything, and he was not having money. Okay, and he was saying that for eight years. He was basically a village school teacher. He was a trade person, okay. But because of some, you can say, uh, reasons, he has long lost his job, okay. And now, because of such condition, he has fell victim to that. Now for one year he hasn't done anything. Okay, so advocate. Who, what was the name of advocate? Sarki. Sarki looked at his rag. Rag means completely torn. Uh, one uh, overcoat, and what was the color of that overcoat? Light grayish brown overcoat. Okay, and he was wearing such kind of overcoat. <laughs> He was wearing such kind of overcoat that color was light grayish brown color. Okay, and and his eyes were so dull. It was eyes of a drunken person. Okay, and there was a red spot on every both cheek. Okay. And it seemed to him as if he had seen this man somewhere before. Okay, so Sarki was thinking that I have seen that person somewhere. Okay, so I have now had an offer of a position in the promise of Kaluga. The mendicant went on. So after that, beggar. Mendicant means beggar. Okay, write down the meaning of mendicant also. I forgot to write down on that book. Write down mendicant. Mendicant means you can say. Beggar. Okay, so mendicant beggar kept on telling about his uh, uh, condition that uh, I have not now had an offer of a position. Okay, so bache write down the meaning of mendicant. Clear? Write down the meaning of mendicant. And after that, we have expelled. Expelled word is also used here. Okay, so write down the meaning of expelled also. So that beggar kept on talking about his position. Okay, he said that too, because when I have never had an offer of a position in the province of province of Kaluga. Province means you can say province here means region. Promise here means region. Okay, so he was telling that he had not got the position in Kaluga. Okay, and because he had not got any kind of job there. Okay, and the mendicant went for mendicant means that girl was telling about his condition and condition because he said that I haven't the money to get there because he was not having any money. To go to that place, so that's why he was telling him to help him. Okay, and he was saying that he was feeling so ashamed, but he had to go according to his circumstances. Okay, 
so after that sarji when he was listening about his condition after that what was going on what was going on uh, he after looking at his coat which was torn he looked at his overshoes overshoes basically that the shoes which worn over a normal shoes okay and uh, one of which was high and the other low and the shoe condition was so bad because at one place it was high and another place it was low and after that he remembered something okay and he said look here it seemed to me i met you the day before yesterday in sadobia street then sarji tried to recall that where had he met that person then he realized yes he had met him somewhere and where had he met him in sadobia feet one day before okay and he said okay okay now i remember because when i met you there you told me that you were a student and now you are saying that you were a teacher it means you are telling a lie okay so he said but you told me that you were a student who had been expelled and not a very school teacher do you remember and he said do you remember that i met you yesterday in sabodhya street and there you told about your identity that you were a student and now you are telling that you are a teacher uh, so the beggar said no 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 mumbled mumbled means what is the meaning of mumbled it means he started murmuring murmuring means he stopped spoke in a mumbled means spoke in a soft voice okay so he started speaking in a very soft voice okay and then taken aback taken aback means he was completely shocked so bachche write down the meaning of taken aback also taken aback means taken aback means shock okay so when he listened this thing from that advocate he was really taken aback he was completely shocked okay so he said no 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 i didn't tell that i was a student at that time i am a village school teacher if you like i can show you my papers and if he says that if you really like i just can show you my papers also okay so uh, he was so shocked that now he has been caught for telling a lie so after that what happens let's read have you done with lying you called yourself a student and even told me that you had been expelled for don't you remember and after that sarji he said okay you are telling me a lie okay because earlier you told that you were a student at that time you told me this thing and now and for that you had been expelled for expelled means you have been removed for that okay and uh, do you remember you were telling this thing sir he flushed and turned from the red to yellow flushed flushed means he became red and hot okay it means due to illness he was not keeping good health so here write down the meaning of flushed also bachche write down the meaning of flushed also red and hot due to illness okay he became red and short hot due to illness and he turned from the real creature with an expression of disgust write down the meaning of disgust also disgust means dislike okay so here sarji flushed and turned from the real creature and with an expression of disgust it means when sarji uh, came to know that that person was not telling truth he was telling a lie so he really uh, you can say uh, became angry after listening this thing that one day before he was telling that he was a student and now in order to take money he is telling that he is the village he was working as a village school teacher 
so sarghi he really became red and hot okay and you can say he turned from the rag creature rag creature means from that beggar who was wearing rag clothes with an expression of disgust it means now he was not feeling sympathy for that person instead of that he was feeling you can say disgust for that person he was disliking that person he did not like that person at all okay so this this paragraph is clear this page is clear now let's move to next page this is dishonesty my dear sir read from there okay now any of the child arzu you read <coughs> arzu you read yes arzu unmute yourself and read beta okay pranay you read pranay you read yes pranay yes read चाइल्ड कैन रीड इज अनम्यूटेड ओके आप अरन यू रीड Yes, ma'am. This is dishonesty, my dear sir. He cried angrily. This is swindling. I shall send the police for you. Damn you, sir! He said, laying his hand on his heart. The fact is, I was lying. I am neither a student nor a school teacher. All that was fiction. Formerly, I sang in a Russian choir and was sent away from for drunkenness. But what else can I do? i can't get along without lying no one will give me anything when i tell the truth what can i do read further also what can you do you ask what you can do cried sergi coming close to him work that's what you can do you must work work yes i know that myself but where can i find work how would you like to chop wood for me i wouldn't refuse to do that but in these days even skilled wood cutters find themselves sitting without bread will you come and chop wood for me yes sir i will very well well soon find out sergi has turned along rubbing his hands he called his cook out of the kitchen hey alga uh, he said take this gentleman into the wood shed and let him chop wood okay wait now up to that we have come to know when sarki came to know about this thing that earlier he was telling that he was a student after that he spoke that he was a village school teacher and when he found that that person was telling uh, was not telling the truth he was telling a lie so he really became uh, angry and he really uh, scolded him so badly for swindling Here is a word giving swindling. What is the meaning of बच्चे swindling? Swindling means cheating. Swindling means cheating. Okay. So he said this is really a dishonesty. Okay. And he was crying so angrily that whatever you are speaking that it is really a cheating. And I just want to call a police and I want to do this thing with. you okay and he said laying his head on his heart he was keeping his head like a hand like this on his heart and he said okay sir i admit this thing that i was telling a lie because i am neither a student i am nor a school teacher all that was only fiction fiction means it was only his imagination it was only his imagination that whatever the stories he was telling about himself these were only imaginative stories okay and he said basically in the beginning formally 
uh, earlier he was singing in a russian choir choir is a you can say group of singers it means he was basically a singer he was a part of that group okay and he was expelled he was you can say thrown away from that group of singers why what was the reason because he was a you can say drunk because of the reason of drunkenness because he was a bad drunkard okay and that was his disability because of that disability he was taken out okay and he said now tell me i am not able to work in that group of singers i don't have any work now what should i do so this is the reason that i have started doing you can say begging okay <clears throat> but uh, he said that if i tell you the truth would you give me uh, arms arms means money okay would you give me arm so that's why this is the reason that i am telling you the i am telling a lie so when uh, advocate listened to that story he said okay i just give you one suggestion that what should you do you should work only because by working you can earn money so he said okay who is going to give me work so sarji uh, sarji said okay i am able to give you work i will be giving you work that i am going to give you the work of chopping would you like to chop wood okay so he said okay i would be able to okay but he said after that what was the question which was asked by him he said in these day even skilled wood cutters find themselves sitting without bread without bread here bread means money here what is the meaning of bread bread means money and he says now a day you can see that even the skilled person who are so efficient in their work even they don't have work even the skilled wood cutter they don't have uh, they don't earn money they don't have jobs they don't have work so how can i do he said no okay i am just giving you work you just come with me and you have to chop you have to cut pieces of wood oh, he said okay i'm ready to come with you so definitely very well we will soon find out so first of all he hastened along hastened means he moved quickly okay and he was just rubbing his hand and he called his cook now the name of the cook is now there is another character that is olga olga is a cook who is working who is already working in the house of that advocate sarji okay so he called olga that uh, lady that cook and he said you just take this take him to wood shed and you just give him some work of chopping wood so olga obliged she said okay and she went inside and she took that person inside to give him work of chopping wood okay <clears throat> now tell me what is going in your mind do you think that he really chopped the wood that he did work and he earned money what is your opinion any of the child raise your hand and tell me okay dhiren has sent me cross it means he did not do any work okay how many of you say that yes he really did work and earn money by chopping wood how many are how many of you are agree that he really did that work of chopping and he earned money from that no one is saying ma'am okay yes uh, ma'am i think he was hungry so he uh, first would have asked for food and then he would have chopped the wood okay it means it is your guess it is your imagination that he would have been asked for the food and then he has done uh, that work okay and any another child any assumption any idea that what goes after that story because you should be very much inquisitive and eager to know that afterwards what happened what is your guess don't read from your book that after that what happens because there is a now turning point there is a climax in the chapter he has got a job for so many years he was you can say asking for uh, arms he was not working but now there is one person who has offered him a job he gave him a work in his house 
Olga also there to guide him. So do you think that he really worked and earned money? Okay, Rivima, what do you say? Ma'am, according to me, I think so. Uh, he worked for for his full uh, fulfill needs, and because he was hungry. Okay, good. Now Aparan has written that he might have stolen something from that house. That is a guess of Aparan. So everybody, you think about that. Don't read further. I'm just telling you. Only up to this, whatever the one and half page we have done today. So only go to this and go to all the difficult word meanings also because if you know the meaning, only then you'll be able to understand. You'll be able to comprehend the text. So only one and half page you read thoroughly. Okay, and try to use these words in your question answers also. Whenever you be attempting the answers, you have to use the, this vocabulary in your answer. You have to read in detail. Okay, and make guesses that afterwards what happens. Be inquisitive. And rest of the chapter we will be reading tomorrow. Tomorrow is your holiday. Afterwards we will be reading. But up to that, whatever we have done, go through it again and again. And revise all the things carefully. What is being done today? Okay. Now time uh, bell has gone, so we will continue this chapter later. Okay, bache. Thank you and have a nice day. Take care of yourself.